And then off in the first race, the Irish EBF two-year-old maiden, 11 coming up over six furlongs, full power in Pickersgill, followed by Harlem Playgirl, wish this, Saddison close on the outside, and then Cork Carvada, who's followed by the Duke Mardukas, further down the field is Report to Station and Cassiopeia, and then Petite Madame, and trailing the field is Blue Banger. Wide apart, full power, and Pickersgill with the nose band, being followed by Saddison and Harlem Playgirl in between horses. Wish this next, and then Corcovado. After them is the Duke Mardukas and Report to Station. Cassiopeia is two behind, Petite Madame, and Blue Banger ridden along. It is Pickersgill, the definite leader on the stand side. Now followed through by Saddison and Harlem Playgirl coming under pressure and drifting back full power. Further over is Wish This. Then Corcovado and Report to Station and the Duke. Mardugas as Saddison hits the front from Corcovado, who's coming with a run on the stand side. Pickers Gill in between horses, followed then by Wish This and Report to Station, but it's Saddison in front and lengthens the lead to a couple of lengths over Corcovado. Pickers Gill and Wish This is next, but it is Saddison making an impressive winning debut from Pickers Gill back for the second of Corcovado and Wish This close 3 4. What did Dylan Brown McMonigal as he comes up to us after landing our opener? That was a good performance. Yeah, he's a nice colt. Um, did that very easy. It was always very comfortable, quick and good, and he got to the line well. He's a nice prospect. And he'll improve plenty from it as well. He still had a look in front, didn't he? Yeah, once I got there, I just had to help him along, but the last furlong was good when I got stuck into him, and he got to the line good. He handles that ground well. He looks to have a good attitude as well, too. I like the way he's lent into the line. Yeah, he's very straightforward. Um, he's probably horse with plenty of speed, and... He quickened up good, which was which was good in his first run, and uh, stretched away went well, and I won a plenty up my sleeve at the line. Trip wise, you just said plenty of speed. He's from a speedy family. Uh, they've all won over, you know, plenty of speed. And do you think he'd get further? Yeah, I'm sure he will. He, he's a lovely, relaxed colt, and and the way he hit the line, he'll have no problem stepping up. But I think he'll sharpen up plenty, and he's not a slow horse. Got plenty of speed. Good stuff. Could be the start of a good day. That's the first of uh, five rides. Obviously, Celtic motif. I ran some race behind you in the Goffs Million here, and finishing third. Yeah, very unlucky. She didn't really get out to the furlong pole, and she picked us up really well. You know, and was running at the line hard. So. Um, the mile won't be any problem to her and obviously a competitive race of the Aidens Philly she looks fairly good but Arwen's got experience and she's improving so hopefully she'll run well. well the rest of your rides obviously Valnor and a maiden uh, thought Nan's viewed a chance stepping up and trip. Yeah he was doing his best work late on um, mile and a quarter will be a big help to her um, but the horses are running well and hopefully we can get another one before the day's out. Good stuff finally ground what's the riding like? Soft's a bit tacky but they're getting through it when they win like that it's alright. She never asked to win in jockey that well. Exactly thanks. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Joshua Brown joins me now after winning our opening race of the afternoon. I think that's your 35th individual two-year-old winner this season. Mr. Saracen, well done. Yeah, thanks very much, Kevin. A smart colt. Uh, delighted to have what looks like a real nice one for Al Cabin and, and the team have supported us very well. And this guy was due to make his debut a few weeks ago, and we just had a little setback with him. And he's come here, and I have to say he looked very impressive. Uh, we thought he was a nice colt at home. Didn't expect him to win like that by any means. So he's a horse that we're really excited about for next season now. And I'd imagine he'll come back for some kind of big in his trial. Plenty more improving to come from him. He's showed a really good attitude. Love the way he's lent and when he's hit the front, but he's probably just uh, plenty to work on too. Absolutely. He's a well-bred colt, and um, you'd imagine he'd have to be better when he gets a nicer surface, and you'd imagine he's crying out for seven or a mile. So um, today was about educating him and getting a good start, uh, but he really showed that he has some talent, and um, hopefully we can uh, look forward to that next spring. Looks to have a great attitude, good mind. He was very professional in the parade ring before. He just took it all in a stride. Yeah, he did. Um, he's a bit, little bit green coming back into the winner's circle there, um, but he did, and, and you have to say that you know he, ha he has a pedigree. And, and like I say, when he goes a bit further on a better surface, you'd expect improvement and he should mature well from now until next year. Great stuff, Joe. So it could be the start of a good day. Uh, you've got, I think, four or five more runners left to come. Two, obviously, in the feature event, uh, the Stafferstown Stakes as well. Celtic Motif and Salt to Bed. Celtic Motif ran some race behind Apples and Bananas, came from a long way back at uh, in the Goffs Million. Yeah. She did. She ran great. Um, um, gets on the round track today, which will suit her, but we're drawn a bit wider than we'd like. Uh, but if she gets the setup, she'll be coming at them late and fast and then so to bed has been a model of consistency we chance dropping her in distance and uh, but sitting back up today on a, on the softer surface should suit her well and uh, both of them are, are in with a chance and two then in the final maiden uh, red are ahead and valnor yeah two, two fillies that are running consistently well both of them have been placed on a number of occasions and they're due their turn in the winner's circle if they get the right setup 
maybe it might be today. Yeah. Okay, so fingers crossed. Well done. Good start today. Nice call to look forward to for next season. Thanks, Kevin.